and welcome back to my channel and if you're new I'm Amy Today's video is a little bit different to my normal content that I do post on my channel but I'm here for this video I'm gonna do this video I thought like it was a good idea to do this video and it is me sharing some feminine hygiene tips with you all and yeah. just a little disclaimer I am not a professional as you can tell like I don't work in any profession to hygiene skincare but these are just the things that I have learnt growing up as a female from my experience and things I have been taught by others in my life so everybody can do things different this is just my advice how I do things and my personal tips for you for feminine hygiene. I don't want like the introductions to be too long because I feel like this video might be a long one I'm not 100% sure it just depends how quick I talk about things and how fast I get through things. I will also be sharing some products with you that I use and what products I recommend for you to use in this video but none of the products I use are sponsored this is not a sponsored video at all so I'm just getting that out there it's not a sponsored video it's just personal things that I use and I recommend for all of you to use the first thing I want to talk about is shaving and yes I know every not everybody shaves some people like to have body hair grow body hair but personally I shave and this is my advice towards shaving first thing I would advise though is not to have a two blade razor to have at least more than three blade like razor blades razors what i use this razor it's from estrid.com and i love it i love it so much it's like the best razor i've got before this i used to use men razors because they were so much better than the razors that are provided for females that i used to use men razors but since finding this one it's just amazing it's got good weight to it and it is just so good like i feel like it gets to the root of my hair it has five blades on it as you can see there and it just does the job so 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 good if you're a regular shaver like me and you shave up to three times a week two to three times a week then you should be changing your blade more often with the razor i use estridge i get like blades sent to me so i get blades like every other month because that's when i do it but you can get it every month sent to you or every other month or every third month i get it every other month or if you're using a razor like a mem razor or a razor from the local shop or whatever you need to change your blade more often because they get a blunt quite quickly and then that means it's not going to do the job as well as you want it to be do shaving one of the best things i can tell you to do is to exfoliate really exfoliate before you shave i exfoliate my whole body even though i don't shave my whole body i exfoliate my whole body and it just really really works because it gets them dead skin cells obviously that are in the way and once they're gone it just gives you a better shave and it is so good to make sure you exfoliate before you shave I'll share with you the exfoliators that i use so i use the soap and glory buff and ready one this one's nearly all gone and I switch between these two and sometimes I use the Dove Exfoliating Body Scrub. This one here. This one's like coconut. And then this one is rice milk scent. But they are really, really good. They really do work. And even before I shave and I just exfoliate, my skin feels so smooth and so nice. And then on top of that, shaving, oh, it just feels so nice. As I said, I exfoliate my body all over. And one of the best tools that help me do this to reach my back in the places I can't reach is this brush. It's got body scrub in it at the moment. I used it this morning in my shower. But this works wonders. It really does. Like, I can reach everything. And it really does feel like I am exfoliating. I also use exfoliating gloves on the areas that I can reach. One thing I will say about products like these, like tools like this, is to switch them out every like two to three weeks, depending on how much you use it. So I use this one to two times a week or maybe three times depending like I don't know so every second week or every two weeks I just go buy myself a new one and throw this one away I try to wash it my best but obviously you can't really wash it perfectly if you can wash it really really good and you're better at me than washing it then you can have it for longer but I still recommend after a few months or maybe a few weeks just getting a new one I literally got this for a pound so I ain't complaining but it does last me like like I said two to three weeks sometimes it just depends on how often I actually use it sometimes I just use my exfoliating glove so this will last me longer another thing that I do use and I switch out quite often is this to wash my body in the areas I cannot reach because I have to wash my back and I can't reach it so this really really helps me but I actually change this out a lot more often than that like I can't explain how many of these I've gone through I buy like three at a time they're a pound as well literally a pound and they're just the favorite thing ever like i don't like them when it's just on their own 
but when it, it just, it, this is just amazing. I love this. This is like one of my favorite bath products. Moisturize. After shaving, make sure you moisturize. One bit of advice that I would give about moisturizing is as soon as you get out of the shower, when you're still damp, still wet, moisturize them because your body will more absorb it more than normal. And once that's done, before you get dressed and you pat yourself dry, put more on. And I'm telling you now, your body will be smooth all day. It just is really, really good. Especially if you do it when you're damp as well, because it just absorbs more of the moisture. Even if you have oily skin like me for example, you still need to moisturise so just find the perfect moisturiser for you and you'll get there, you'll get there. I wanted to show you two of my favourite moisturisers and these are literally my favourite go-to moisturisers. This one I use of a night morning time sorry because it's less greasy and this one i use of a night time because i just feel like my body is soaking in it all night and it's so nice and it smells amazing they both smell amazing they're coconut and these are literally my go-to and you can get them from anywhere they're not some really expensive like you know moisturizer and they do really really work i used this when i was pregnant as well with my son and it worked amazing then leads on to using the same scent for everything what i mean by that is when you're in the shower and you exfoliate and use body wash or wash your hair, use the same scent. This will make sense in a minute. So in my shower, for example, I've already showed you, I'll use the coconut exfoliator and then I will also use coconut shampoo and conditioner. I could only find the conditioner, but I use coconut conditioner. I also use this to shave because it is better than shaving foam, in my opinion. Conditioner just makes it feel more smooth. I will also use, like, if I'm using a foot scrub or foot cream, coconut coconut scented and as you know i go to my coconut scented moisturizers this is the coconut body wash that i use i forgot to say it's exactly the same as like the exfoliator so it's the same scent of course and with perfume i will also use the same scent this is just the victoria's secret coconut passion one i think that's what it's called yep coconut passion and i will use that and i'm going to tell you why now of course it will make you smell nice it won't make you smell of all different scents and that one scent will be quite strong and it will last all day especially if you use a coconut moisturizer and then you spray perfume on after which is coconut it will just make that perfume smell last all day and it will make it last so much longer it doesn't have to be coconut scented okay it really doesn't have to be coconut scented you could use whatever like fragrance you want to use but make sure it's the same fragrance because you honestly will smell like really nice all day and it will last longer one thing i will say though is to not use scented products down there and this is where we start talking about your secret area you know you know girls what i'm on about so you don't want to use fragrance down there because it will ruin with your ph like levels and stuff down there and it can make it smell or it can make it be a bit funny you know what i'm saying and also don't use like your normal body soap because that will mess with the ph because the ph in your shampoo and conditioner for example is made different for your body and your body um wash ph is made different to down there even though that's a part of your body obviously so what i use and what is a well-known brand is femme what femme fresh i use this i've just started a new bottle and it's really really good sometimes you don't even like you do have to like wash obviously but i mean sometimes just use like warm or hot water whatever well warm water is the best to use so i don't remember if you're ph scale whatever but just rinse it with warm water if you don't want to use like soap and it still kind of cleans it but i have to use soap so i use femme fresh and it literally does wonders it is amazing to stop it from like smelling down there are some tips that i'm going to give you now one of the most basic thing that i feel like you would know as well is to change your underwear and say in the morning you change your underwear and the night time you change your underwear obviously and just frequently wash your underwear that is just obviously a go-to thing to do but another thing that i want to talk about with underwear is not to wear underwear to bed but if you do wear like silk underwear because that's better because when you wear underwear to bed you're not letting any air get to that area and obviously the best time not to wear underwear is when you're in bed and you're not going out and it'll just get like more fresh air to it because when you're wearing like underwear constantly it's just keeping it all in together like the smell like your thing can't breathe it just can't breathe so please take a break from wearing underwear i know for a lot of people they find it uncomfortable not to have underwear on when they go to sleep and like i know a lot of people that sleep with bras on which i know i don't do but I don't think you should do but everybody is different some people have it with confidence that they have to some people feel like it's better some people just forget i have forgotten before i fall asleep with bra on sometime but make sure you don't sleep with knickers on because then it would just be better 
no undies, nighties. <laughs> Obviously, I've already said no uh, no scented products. Use only unscented products for down there. That is the best thing you can do for yourself and for your hygiene. Sounds very cliche, but eat healthy. Eat healthy. And whatever you eat, you consume in, you consume out. So even if you eat healthy, not only will down there smell nice, you know, you like you won't get that horrible smell. But will your body like your bo for example like when you're sweating like your odor just your natural smell your odor your bo whatever will smell better than it has before and one food that i can advise you to eat to help you smell better is pineapple i don't eat pineapple i hate pineapple so i'll have it with something that i can't really taste it like i love like a pineapple juice so like that but that is the best thing. if you're a girl that struggles with water infections or any infections you know like that the best thing to drink is cranberry juice so when i was pregnant i struggled with water infection infections quite a lot because he was pressing down on my bladder blah 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 and cranberry juice helped so much it helped get rid of the water infection it was so good literally at first i didn't really like cranberry juice but then i really liked it when i was pregnant because i was constantly having it because i constantly got water infections because of my pregnancy but water infections can be caused by anything it can be caused by bacteria it can be caused by having sex it can be caused by anything birth even being pregnant so if you do suffer with water infections the best thing i can advise you to do is to drink cranberry juice literally like a pint of cranberry juice and just keep on top of drinking cranberry juice when you have a water infection and it really really does help i'm just going to give you a small little tips now and my first one is with vaseline so if you want to smell nice before you put your perfume on put moisturizer whatever on your body as well and then get vaseline put a little bit behind your ears a little bit on your wrist and wherever you really want to spray perfume then spray the perfume a couple seconds after because the vaseline will make the perfume stick to it and it will last longer another thing is always to brush your teeth don't forget try not to forget to brush your teeth i know some people forget over night time because they're too tired or some people forget in the morning because they're too busy but brush your teeth honestly it will just make you smell better obviously because if your breath smelling nice you could be smelling nice and with all the coconut and the spray and the perfume and the moisturizer you'll be smelling nice all day oh yeah i just forgot to realize well i realized that i forgot to tell you i am in a different like setting which isn't a great setting i'm on my bedroom floor <laughs> yes my bedroom floor i can't sit on my bed at the moment because the light's not really good and i'm using like a little light tripod thing i haven't got my other lighting system because it broke but this is what we're gonna do right now sit on my bedroom floor if you are like not new to my channel and you've been here before obviously you know this isn't my setting but if you are new this isn't my setting this really isn't my setting i am hoping to get like a backdrop soon as well and everything will be better i am trying my best if there's something you feel like i missed out or something that you were taught growing up or a bit of advice you want or if you think i'm wrong about something let me know in the comments you can also message me on my instagram you can dm me i'll put my social medias in the link of well, the description below you can also message me on my snapchat or just literally just comment on this video because then other people can like see it as well and they can see and it can make an impact on their life it can make a difference on their life so if you have any advice that i've missed out on or you think i'm wrong about or you think i should do then please let me know in the comments below with a pineapple emoji use a pineapple emoji <laughs> i don't even know i don't even think anybody's going to comment on this video but if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and keep yourself notified for future videos. I have some videos planned for the month, for next month, for the year. So please stay tuned with me, crazy little me. And yeah, that's all for the video, really. I hope it did help you. I hope I did give you good enough advice. It's literally just things I've learned and I've known. So I'm sorry the video was a bit like chaotic. But thank you for watching, and for now, adios amigos.